Well, I think it is important because, um, for example, in this year, when you start uh, working on different types of um, course week, you don't necessarily know how to structure correctly or you don't know how exactly um, to get, let's say, a face, like what, what is it that you need to include in a piece of course week to get a good mic. So when you have the feedback from the original course weeks, I think it's important to just um, go through it, spot the areas, and then act on them. So you see how you've, like, why you've gone wrong, and you can correct it for future um, such course weeks. And I have myself done that. I've always tried to look at the criticisms that uh, my lecturers were giving me, or also the positives that they will see. Personal feedback is important because any good feedback you uh, receive will be the steps you need to take to take your uh, your piece of coursework to the next level to improve. So maybe go from a two one to a first or even further. Um, so something I would like to do is say I've wrote an a essay and I keep consistently making the same mistakes. When I go back to write the next one, sit down with a piece of feedback next to me and make sure I'm not repeating those same mistakes. Uh, and make sure that I am improving my work so that I can see that I'm making progress. It's really important to act on feedback uh, in an actionable manner because that's the only real way you're going to improve. Um, you're going to improve a lot of core translational skills that are needed across loads of industry and will make you really employable and, and that's something you want to get from your degree. Um, I always try to do what I could uh, to get the most from my feedback um, if there was any feedback I found that was a bit ambiguous or didn't quite make sense, then I would uh, try my best to, to try and liaise with the uh, tutors to you know, set up a meeting to go through it further. Um, and actually, quite often, um, I'd sit down with friends on the course and we'd compare each other's feedback, so our, our marks, obviously. Um, but we'd also try and help each other um, find common errors that we were all making. Um, and if we all had these common errors in mind, then for future assessments, we would always look out for them in each other's works. And so we'd all help support each other um, through our collective feedbacks as well. It's really important to actually do something with your feedback. Otherwise, you have engage in a completely futile exercise. You know, that's the saying, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Um, and the only person you're really hurting is yourself. So... A good way to actually action that and to engage with your feedback is to have a process that you follow when you perform when you do your work as you come to the end of it and you look back over your work before you submit it have a list of things that you've done well in the past you've had positive feedback on and a list of things that you have performed poorly on in the past or lost marks for and check that against your work that you've now got so you make sure you're including the things that you've done well and you make sure you're not making the same mistakes on things that you've done poorly in the past. Mm -hmm.